is Liza Cooper and I just graduated Beaver Country Day School um, and we have designed an automated robotic vehicular independence system. So basically we designed a robot to wirelessly track a wheelchair um, and carry awkward and heavy items. So our robot will wirelessly follow a wheelchair and um, kind of carry something like laundry or groceries or um, luggage and just so that the person in a wheelchair doesn't have to balance it on their lap and simultaneously wheel at the same time. It's like a perfect dog. Can you tell me, how did you get an idea for this invention? So, um, one of the members of our team works for a teacher at our school who has been working at our school for a very long time. She's a beloved teacher and she is in a wheelchair. Um, and so the team member works for her on the weekends and helps her bring her groceries from the car to her apartment or helps her carry her laundry basket from you know, her bedroom to the laundry room. Um, and basically, so that was our kind of inspiration for the project and we found that we, this was a big problem and that something needed to be designed to kind of do something to fix it. Fair enough. Um, do you remember the day when you bought the brand? Um, well, I remember we had been working on the proposal for a long time and um, a bunch of us had been going back and forth with revisions and talking to our teachers and making sure that everything about the proposal was perfect and I know that was a lot of hard work and I remember we got the email and there was some rumors going around that things were coming out and you know we were all really had our fingers crossed and we finally got the email that was like, you got the grant, so we were all so excited and really really just didn't even know what to do with ourselves because we were really looking forward to the work that we could start. So you know there's some good days like you know getting the grant but then there's some bad days. Can you tell me about a really big challenge like a problem that you had? Um, so one of the problems that we faced was when we were first um, doing the prototyping we had split up into three separate groups and one of the big challenges for us is we couldn't focus exactly on where we wanted our robot to kind of live. So we didn't know if it wanted to service people in their homes and kind of focus more on, you know, it would be purchased by an individual and then assist one person. Or we didn't know if we wanted it to be somewhere more like an airport where it would just kind of follow someone and carry their luggage around for them. Someone like, you know, new parents, you know, trying to carry their kids around or, um, or the elderly, grocery shopping, so we didn't know if we wanted it to be more in a public space or in a home space. So that was a big challenge for us because, you know, half the group wanted to do one thing and half the group wanted to do the other thing, so we ended up settling on more, um, you know, focusing on a single consumer and um, servicing their individual needs. So let's say that I get the grant today and I have a team. What is the one advice you're going to give me? Um, so I think the one piece of advice that I would give future grant winners is to really just have a lot of inspiration and dedication to your project. Um, one of the most important pieces um, kind of components that you can have when you win a grant is just passion and you really want to be um, sure that what you're working on is something that you're very, very passionate about and something that you really um, are proud of and really something that is true to you. I think that was a perfect answer. And just to wrap it up, can you describe this whole experience in one word? Oh my goodness, I have to think about that. Um, so one word. Words. <laughs> so many words rushing through my head. Um, I would say one word would definitely be, no, I would say life changing. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I don't know much. if that's two words, but. Hyphenated, hyphenated word. All right. Thank okay, you so thank much. you so much. Have a great day. Thank you.